Hello, beta tester. To quickly summarize, curator guy theorized he could try to gather sweet baby in games, assembling all the claims to shame. Baby exclaimed, Pussy tried to blame after maim and game with tame. What did you expect? Go disinfect your body all, cause you've been wrecked. Check the comments ratio detroit become mad that's you ho are these the optics you're looking for prolapsed organs on the floor rewrite history are you insane sweet baby ain't got shit for brains compulsion games as good as dead because this picture here will spread you needed sense to pass this inspection instead it's niggity negative reception targeted harassment that's a neat trick let me show you why i call it the joystick Stick, tolerate your bullshit for years but you're the victim cause you're in tears open wide for my thick skeet because I call my dick receipts no way a sweet baby ink representative is here calling for people to mass report something that he disagrees with he or she or they with respect to their pronouns i don't know i'm blocked by everybody and it's the same ass blasted guy that said i must be right wing no we're all just united against you and your admitted history rewriting ilk you hear that word I just used? United. United. We stand united against you. Because what you wish to do is divide to other. Furthermore, you were eager and more than willing to sick your audience of ignorance onto someone without verifying whether or not they were in the wrong. Because in your mind, they're wrong and your delusion is good enough, right? So like a fucking cop that I'm sure you've wasted countless hours writing articles and talking about not even verifying whether or not it's time for shit to go down, you acted. And we have to assume that you possess the capacity for shame or humility, if only because your self-serving ass has deleted the post now. For what fear of losing a job? You don't care. A sweet baby ink doesn't care about optics. Is it is it your future that you don't want to appear unprofessional? I'm sure all the people that you hoped would stay in power think exactly like you. But this crusty jizz conduct betrays what you're all about. Of course you deleted your comment. Of course you're privating your messages. You're the victim. So of course, more sweet baby snake oil salesmen trying to defend you are getting community noted while they wipe Elon's pubes from their mouth on the site that they use more than we do to brainwash people. But when we try to inform, it's a goddamn crime. You do not understand who you've woken up. Demonetizing and coming at men like me will only make me more passionate. Your worlds come crumbling down, staring in a fucking mirror. What could you hope to achieve versus passion, talent, creativity? You exist clutching the coattails, basking in the shadow of statues that greater men have built. We don't believe that sensitivity and mature products mix. And we'd love it if you just didn't beat us over the head with this gay, gay, gay bullshit for a couple of seconds because it is compromising the overall purpose of the thing that we are being baited and switched when we pay our money for it, bitch. And if you keep talking, you'll just keep giving us opportunities to show you just how much you're not appreciated around here. Not when you're deliberately trying to impair progress, and in fact, are deliberately trying to make us regress. So you're a vegan. Get the fuck out of the slaughterhouse. Huge and special thanks to It's a Gundam for Featuring and reminding me that we're all out here fighting this fucking psychosis from all angles. And it's that clip of Will Ferrell feeling like he's taking crazy pills. Beta tester, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have masterfully navigated the slop minefield of trash that needed to be bled. Thank you for avoiding First Spoken. Thank you for avoiding Saints Row. With Sushi Squad and Skull and Bones, 
you went back to the Arkham games and Assassin's Creed Black Flag to have the numbers show in these decade-old properties that people prefer the old. So when Alex from Digital Foundry jumps up with his gay preference to say that he finds women distracting and unappealing and a product of a bygone era and not flattering in a good way. Okay, my nigga, you don't represent the majority. I'm speaking on behalf of the niggas who could make something real profitable. So when you see these racist ass motherfuckers talking about how it's just gonna go back to being white people. Bitch, we were never looking at the studio based on the race and gender and whatever fucking identity is dividing, dividing. That's what y'all do. You would never have this to say about an all black studio, an all Asian studio, and it's because you're fucking racist. It's sad that you need that communicated to you, but what a shame. It may be something you never understand. We were operating under the impression that many of you were just being willfully ignorant and uh, uh, conveniently accepting this manner of stupidity, but some of you may be this dumb, and you're so sensitive that all of us in your life are effectively J.K. Simmons, so we can't fucking speak. Because it wouldn't only get us catapulted off these platforms, but whatever happens to you would somehow be our fault, because regardless of it just being INFLUENCE, I guess you don't identify as an adult, so what you do, other people are accounted for that aren't even your relatives, I, you know, it, it's brain damage, I'm not, I, I can't think about these people for this long, come on. How hilarious is it that Helldivers, a game tonally inspired by Verhoeven's Starship Troopers, should herald us back into gaming's golden age, confident and unapologetic like femme fatales that sweet baby abhors, right after Robocop Rogue City last year that also felt like a passionate project from developers who don't feel like they're pretending and choking on the message so hard that they can't fucking profit. Robocop made me think about Terminator and Back to the Future and all these different universes that would probably lovingly be restored in a way that could easily just be double A and make a lot of people happy. And with enough enthusiasm, they could have a sequel that could easily rival Hogwarts Legacy and all the love that they put into that castle and reliving the experiences of the fucking movies, man. I think uh, Robocop, Hogwarts Legacy, Alien Isolation, these adaptations are like perfect examples of doing it right. Batman Arkham is, you know, the, the chef's kiss that could be remade today with extra characters, some multiplayer, maybe a dungeon or something, and people would play that endlessly. A figurative Marvel Ultimate Alliance, but these things are only going to get made, beta tester, if you do it. The studios have all been corrupted by the types that I spotlight, and they're used to whining to get their way instead of doing anything to earn it. There will be sweet babies by other names. There will be ESGs by other names, but uh, you can navigate that storm by setting your watch to people you can fucking trust because AI will and is currently being developed that will out charisma the people that you're probably listening to these days and the entities who've been fighting to push the bar even lower so like tiktokers can step over it now you are in an arcade you hold the coins where you choose to spend them will determine what machines stay and what machines go gamers never lost control i regard us as stones of infinity scattered waiting until such a time as the power glove is needed. We're headed towards gaming's new E.T. in a landfill moment in the West, so if anyone caps for trash like Sushi Squad and Sweet Baby, mark them, man. You deserve to be entertained. You deserved what you pay for functioning. Stop letting these sloppy little shill, so soy-soaked fucking douchebags fill your mind with all of this cringe. Hogwarts Legacy Power World Hell Divers 2, Stellar Blade, you have never had easier ways to push the industry's buttons. Keely and his jury of woke can act like people played and cared about Alan Wake, but their purpose is to cater to, feed, and report on us. 
you hear me Kile? Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll try to make sure they stop treating you like nobody. To the patrons, I love you. To anybody liking, commenting, and push up the video, I appreciate and can't thank you enough. Thank you for, you know, informing with Sweet Baby. I, I don't even want to name anybody because so many of you are doing it. It would feel wrong not to name all of you.